In this video, we will make two desktop applications related to date and time using the Qt library in the Python programming language. After learning how our first desktop project works, we will start designing and coding the project. There are two date selection boxes in this project. After determining the first and second date, it will show us how many days are between the two dates on the label. Let's approach the desktop application and set two dates. Let's hit the Calculate button. The number of days between two dates will be shown to us in the label of our desktop application. You can download and develop the source codes of the project in this video from the Turtle Code GitHub account. Before starting the project, you can support us by following the Turtle Code YouTube channel and other social media accounts. Let's start designing our first desktop application. We will design the project in the Qt Designer program. Create an empty project. Transfer to date edit objects. Add a button to the design of the project. Add a label to show how many days are between two dates. Adjust the size and position of the label. In the coding phase, we need to set an ID to access the objects. Using these IDs, we can assign tasks to objects in our application. Specify an ID for the start date. Set an ID for the end date. Specify a name for the button. Create an ID for the button. Set an ID on the label to show the number of days between two dates. In this table, you can see all the objects and their IDs in our desktop application. Go to Property Editor to make object adjustments. We can enlarge the text of the label to see it better. You can delete the text. We will edit this text during the coding process. You can see how the desktop application will look if you press the control and our keys on the keyboard at the same time. This is how we can set the start and end date settings. But this is a little difficult. We can use a more logical method. After selecting the start date setting object, go to the queue date time edit section in the property editor section. Check the calendar pop-up option. After marking, the start date selection object has changed a bit. To understand this better, let's press the control and our keys on the keyboard at the same time and see how the project will look. Using this method we can select the date very easily. Let's make the same adjustment in the end date object. After selecting the end date object, go to the queue date time edit section in the property editor section. Check the calendar pop-up option. In the queue date edit section, there is the default date setting when the desktop application is opened. We can change this to make it easier to use. Let's do the same for the start date display object. Select the object and change the date. As you can see we have changed the default dates for both date setting objects. Let's check the project by pressing the control and our keys on the keyboard at the same time. We can easily make date selections. Let's save the project. Notice that the file you saved when saving the project is the same as the Python project file. Otherwise you can't use design project in Python project. Let's start the coding process of the first project. The design file we saved has been added to our Python project file. We need to convert this to Python code file. For this, go to the terminal section. Here we can do the conversion with a simple encoding. With this code we can convert the design file to Python code file. As you can see our design file has been converted to a Python code file. Now let's examine the Python code file we converted. Created a class inside the code file. In this class, there are all the objects and the properties of the objects that we created in the design part of the project. We'll transfer and use this class after a while when we create our main Python code file. Create a Python code file to start coding. Transfer the file for the project to run properly and use the features in the Qt library. Transfer the design class from the Python file. 
You can check the name of the design class. Transfer time and date files to Python file to do date operations. There is an emblem and project name in our desktop application. We will determine the emblem and name of our project. To do this, transfer the GUI library. Create a Python class. Synchronize the Qt widgets and QMain window properties with the class to access the objects of the desktop project. Create the main function. Use the super parameter to use the self parameter in all functions in the class. Synchronize the self parameter with the class in the design file. Have the self parameter ready for use. Create a function outside the class. Send the argument from the sys module to start the function without error. Create a desktop window from the class. Set a title for the project. Let's determine the logo of our desktop application. There is an image in our Python project file. Using this official QIcon module we can set the logo of our desktop application. You can use a different image as an emblem. You can also access the photo by downloading the source code of the project from the Turtle Code GitHub account. Show the desktop window on the screen. Send the argument from the sys module so that the project closes without error when the close button is pressed. Call the function. Run the project and test it. We launched the design file in our Python project without any errors. Now let's give the calculation button a task. Check the button's ID in the Qt Designer program. We will use the clicked and connect methods for this. Specify a function name along with the clicked and connect method. Create a function with the function name you specified. Create a start variable. We will synchronize the start date object with the start variable. Check the ID of the object. Synchronize the date of the object using the date module. Let's do the same operations in the end date display object. We will synchronize the end date object with the end variable. Check the ID of the object. Synchronize the date of the object using the date module. Create a variable. Using the days to function we can synchronize the day difference between the start and end date with the variable. Let's set the text of the label to show the user the difference in days between two dates. For this we will use the ID of the label. Check the label's ID in the Qt Designer program. Set the text of the label using the setText method. We will use the format method for this. Run the project and test it. Specify dates using the start and end date setting objects. Press the calculation button as you can see, we can see the day difference between the two dates on the label. We have completed our first project. Let's start our second project. In our second project, there will be one date setting object. After specifying the date, we will show the user the difference in days between today's date and the specified date. We need one date setting object for this project. Delete the other object. Save the project again. We need to update it again because we made changes to the design file. For this, go to the terminal section. With this code, we can do the update process. Delete the variable of the deleted object. We can use the current date function to find out the current date. Use the newly created variable in the days to function instead of the end variable. Change the text of the label to suit the new project. Run the project and test it. Let's learn the current date from the computer. Today's date is August 7th. Specify a date for the calculation. Press the calculation button. We can see the day difference between the date we set and today's date on the label. If you have any questions let me know in the comments. You can also support us by subscribing to the Turtle Code YouTube channel and other social media accounts.